Story die. That's right. Kind of macabre. I'm going to say that again. You're going to pretend like you just got spooked. Uh, like a ghost came into the room. Uh, story, story die. Ooh. <laughs> die. Me? No, not me. Uh, but us, at some point, uh, because mortality, but also this game, Story, Story, Die, is going to be a storytelling-oriented game. We're literally just making it up on the spot. We're not doing improvs about to make them up. Uh, we will get the title of the story from you, and then it'll be conducted, me pointing at them. Uh, we're going to be telling little words of the story, uh, but they will continue from where the last person left off without doing any of the following. They can't stutter. They can't uh, repeat the last thing that was said. Like if someone says, and the robot said, and the next person says, and the robot said, then that's a repeat, that's an X. Uh, if they pause for too long, even if it's dramatic, it looks like it might be, oh, that pause is someone trying to think of that thing, that's another X. Uh, it's gonna happen eventually, everybody screws up in life, we're okay with our screw ups. Uh, please enjoy them. Uh, and also when they get it wrong, you're gonna go, and let's try that on three, one, two, three, and, uh, yeah, you watch the game show before. On those X's, whoever screws up will then step forward to where I am right now, we will give them a death by object or something connected to the story, and they'll act out like a five to ten second non-threatening way of dying by a ridiculous non-threatening object. Uh, perhaps something specific to any genres that come up. Uh, speaking of which, enough about me, uh, we know this game now, we need a title for this first story. What is this random title for this tale? Riding the Go Train. Riding the Go Train, I like that. That's, we're just going to leave it with that, Riding the Go Train, just anecdotal, uh, and that's a good thing. Uh, here we go, Riding the Go Train, oh I didn't give you the clap in, for those that haven't been here on previous nights, we have the traditional clap in. It goes like this, we go five, four, three, two, one. Cha cha cha, be in there. Uh, I'm ready for the scene. These guys look ready. I think uh, maybe it's a towards the half step. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, are you guys ready for the scene? Woo! And let's clap them in as I get into my conducting position. Here we go, riding the coach train. In five, four, three, two, one. It was a dark and stormy night. I was running to catch my train when suddenly. To a halt. The wheels caught fire, and the conductor looked right at me and said, You! You are bad luck! You <laughs> made this! You made this! Oh, <laughs> 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 Associate with transit that's not threatening. It could be a death by moment for Al. What's the name? Who was our Hades? 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 Baby crying! A baby crying! That's it! A baby crying! Death by a baby crying! <laughs> Here we go! One second! <laughs> 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 Well, these unicorns 
Okay, all we can do is put a hand or leg four feet in boot, right, and a head with a horn on it. It's um, right, very hard for them to play. We see that the image above them shows unicorns attempting to play Zombo. Yeah, it's a terrible at it. It's not to play it, but they're doing it all wrong. A day in a life at the St. Lawrence Market. Say that one more time. A day in a life at the St. Lawrence Market.
thing that you can't touch. What is something else? What is something else that you can't touch? What's something else that you can't touch? Through the whole ocean. <laughs> <laughs> 
the ocean, the ocean from the fire caught up to them. And every time, more fish decided to not get eaten or swallowed by the fire in the ocean. <laughs> so the fish kept swimming and swimming and swimming, trying to get away from the. Oh, <laughs>